a bunch of these kind of motors lying around because uh, they're for 3D printers and they're, they're bipolar stepper motors, but they're in printers. You can find them all over the place. They've got four wires coming out of them and they've got two poles or two coils inside. And interestingly enough for these motors, they're built for sort of high torque at low speed. And so what that means is when they are a generator, they they uh, produce high voltage at fairly low speed. So I, uh, I measured this and I was seeing kind of quite surprising values when I, when I would just turn it with my fingers. And I was getting upwards of about 60 volts uh, AC two phase coming out of this motor. So then I, I happened to have a couple of full bridge rectifiers around. So I uh, connected them together and I'm uh, basically rectifying each phase and then the outputs from the full bridge rectifiers are in parallel. So basically what comes out of this two full bridge rectifier setup is pulse DC. And uh, when I measure it, I'm getting almost 30 volts out, uh, just spinning it with my fingers. So this is a kind of an unusual home build uh, generator because it's really high voltage at low speed. And uh, I'll just give you a quick shot of that. Okay, so I just connected the LED, and just turning with my fingers, I can light that LED pretty easily. And if I put a little more capacitance, a little bit of storage at the output, uh, so this is uh, just the capacitor. Um, I don't know if you can, I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see, but now I can. Uh, charge up that capacitor and easily light an LED. For uh, anybody who's interested in the circuitry, it's it's just like this. The you have to figure out which poles uh, which wires are on a on the same pole and then basically those just connect to a full bridge rectifier each and those uh, outputs are connected in parallel and your load goes across that. Um, yeah, I'll show you something interesting. Okay, I got one of those uh, cheapo USB scopes, and uh, I'm going to twist this. I've got it open circuit now, so the LED is disconnected. And I'm just going to give it a quick twist with my fingers. And uh, you can see that uh, pulse that's being captured. And if I use the measuring tool here, um, we're measuring... 34 volts so um, kind of interesting it's a you can use a bipolar stepper motor as a generator if you rectify it and you get sort of surprisingly high voltage at low speed anyway thanks a lot guys uh, I got loads of 3d printers so don't send me one if I win uh, and thanks a lot for making the videos you make